Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at a new release from Taurus. It's called the Taurus Defender 856 Ultralight. Last year they introduced the 856 and that offered six rounds in the cylinder. Prior to that, the Taurus 85, a very popular pocket carry revolver. Then they came out with the 856, but people said I wanted one with a longer barrel. Perhaps a three inch barrel would be great. And they met that demand this year with the Defender 856. And here it is. I'm very excited to have this in my hands. I reviewed them at SHOT Show. I was impressed with what they offered. They have different grip combinations. They have a wood grip made by Altamont. They have a VZ grip. And then they have this whole grip right here. And it does offer a nice feel on the gun. Three finger contact. That, that pinky finger rests on there very comfortably. And it's a 38 Special with a six round cylinder. And it is plus P rated. But the main difference here is the three inch barrel and the front sight. It's made by Ameriglow. It has an orange outline, but it is a night sight. And that really sticks out there. Compared to the ramped up front sight with the 856. And I even said back then, if you had a black background, you know, it's kind of hard to pick up. They corrected that with this night sight. And I think that is a nice touch. But... People love the Taurus revolvers, and, and I love the 856, but I'm super excited about this because that little inch difference on the barrel makes a big difference in terms of accuracy, and I'm looking forward to that. So let's check that out. As with Taurus revolvers, the cylinder rotates counterclockwise, all right? Standard double action trigger pull that we are used to, the single action. I'm measuring right around six and a half pounds. So it's not a feather trigger, but it's a st still a very short trigger travel. All right, we'll take a look here. Already mentioned the six rounds. We'll look at the forcing cone and the yoke. There we have the firing pin, the timing hand, and the bolt stop right there. So we're familiar with these, but we're not familiar with the three inch barrel and I like the whole grips although the the wood Altamont grips and the VZ grips are super cool too now the MSRP on this is 429 and these are just being released we'll have to wait and see what the gun store price is going to be but it does offer what most people love with a Taurus revolver and that's with the sp a spurred hammer it does have the six rounds it is plus p rated and i think they look super cool now this one is considered the matte finish model they have other ones that are all black they have other ones that are seracoded you may notice that the barrel the crane and the cylinder is a seracote tungsten gray and i think it looks really cool they have other color combinations not quite those flashy colors that we have seen with the 856 you know, with the, the burnt orange, and they have many different colors to suit, many different personalities, but this, I think, is super cool. More of a standard kind of look to it. The overall length on this is seven and a half inches, and so it's going to weigh a little bit more. So we'll take a look at that right now. It is unloaded. The unloaded weight, we're looking at one pound, one and a quarter ounces. We move that to just ounces we're looking at 17 and a quarter ounces so i measure that up with the 856 with the two inch barrel and it is two ounces heavier but here are six rounds 38 special and we're looking at 20 and a half ounces so that is like i mentioned two ounces heavier the loaded weight with the two inch bottle is 18 and a half if you want the three inch barrel that this offers then you're good to go. These should be making their way to your local gun store any day, any day now, I would think, because that's the way they roll. You can see it does have the push button cylinder release. And of course, the six rounds and plus P rated. Now, when I shot the plus P, and I'll, I'll do that with this model as well, with the 856 with the two inch barrel, it handled that additional recoil very well. I was impressed. I wasn't sure what to expect because it is an ultralight model. Okay, it says right there. You can see it does have the Taurus logo 
that I think is cool. It does have the Hogue logo. But the ultralight model handles the Plus P no problem. And I'm expecting increased accuracy. And I'm also expecting a, a more, more clear sight picture. You can see that it does have the tunneled rear sight. And then it notches up there to give it a nice sight picture. I think Taurus has a winner here. You know, many people love their revolvers. They say their revolvers are, are top shelf. And they keep kept the price down with an MSRP of $429. Now, some of the other models with the Altamont grips, the VZ grips, you're looking at $30, $40, $50 dollars more. This one is a working man's revolver. And I think it's going to be priced at your local gun store very fairly. And I think a lot of people are going to like this. I certainly like it. I really enjoyed it at SHOT Show, but I enjoy it even more in my hands. I cannot wait to take this to the range. And that review is forthcoming. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching. And you guys be safe.